Hello and welcome to Undiluted Tech. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you find our content helpful. Today we are going to discuss how to improve your read and write speeds on your Ugreen NAS. And how are we going to do that? I'm glad you asked. I was waiting for you to. It's about time. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to utilize our M.2 hard drives that we installed in our last video. If you didn't watch that video, it's somewhat there or over here. But we installed two M.2 um, hard drives worth two terabytes each. What the cache does, it speeds up your read and write speeds uh, when you're writing to your new green NAS and when you're reading from it. So I have mechanical hard drives and they're very slow. But since most of my information is going to be saved in the cache that I retrieve so often, whenever I request that information, it will be easier and faster to retrieve it. So let's get on the NAS and see how we create a cache for a NAS drive. This is for the Ugreen 4800 Plus or something like that. I forgot the name already. It's only been a couple of days. All right, let's get started. All right, now log into your screen or to your NAS. Now move this away from me. One minute. All right. Now that you're logged in, you want to go to your storage. And now the storage, go to storage. And depending on how many hard drives or how many pools you've created, you can create as many caches as you like, depending on the pool. Now, I only got one pool because I only have four hard drives and I'm utilizing all of them for a total of 36 terabytes. So if you hover your mouse to your right under the three um, buttons right there, the bug icons or bug buttons, you'll see the storage pool expansion, SSD cache management, host pair management you want to press the SSD cache management. Once you're there, if you haven't created any before, you'll see a blank SSD cache. And all you have to do is click on the blue button that says create. Then next thing is select the volume. And this, since we only have one volume, we're going to check that volume one. And then the cache mode is for read and write cache. So you can check for reading if you just want to use your NAS as a storage and you just read. But that's a little bit slower if you're doing both reading and writing, I guess. So we're going to do read and write cache. You select that and then the next one, we click next. And it says that you have to agree that whatever is on the hard drive will be deleted. So be careful if you have any important data. So. After you confirmed that you are ready to let that data in that disk go, you can click on farm. If it's new, you have nothing to worry about. There you go. For the cache RAID, it's going to give you RAID 1, meaning parity. What copies in one disk is copied on the other one. Okay, so that's RAID 1. If you want to learn more about RAIDs, leave a comment below and I'll make a video about all types of RAIDs. So you select that. And for the SSDs, we are going to select both SSDs that we installed and then click on next. For storage capacity, I am going to put everything on that. So 1847 when eight, I'm going to utilize all my cache since I'm not building another volume and this will be fine with me. So I'll click on next. And now you just have to confirm and if you want to read this through, you can show you what storage you've been used, what's the capacity, occupied system memory, that's only um, half a gig, and cache mode is read and write cache. And that's it. All you have to do next is click on apply. And it'll give you another warning that the disk will be formatted. So if you do not want to continue at this point, click on cancel. But if you're sure, you want to continue, click on format. And then you have to enter the password for your administrator account. So what I need to do is come over here, 
copy my password, go over here, paste it, and click on confirm. Once confirmed, you'll see your message saying that your creation is successful and you have your cache. If you want to view it, you can come over here, cache management, and there is your volume for cache management. Volume use zero because it's brand new. We haven't used it. And there you go. If you found this video very helpful to you or if you would like to comment, leave a comment down below. Please subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm gone, y'all. Oh, wait. No, I'm still sitting. I'm out, y'all. See you in the next one. Peace.